From the campus studios of Sarland University, this is Robcast, the lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Robcast. Hello again, Christoph Klein. Hi folks. You may remember that Christoph talked to me last week or two weeks ago on his working as an assistant teacher at a college in Great Britain. And the one thing that intrigued me about his stay there, that as an assistant teacher, he got to stay in what sounded like a rather luxurious um, dwelling. <laughs> yes, indeed. It was, um, oh, it was a student room, uh -huh. which would normally have been occupied by two students. But you got that on your own. I got that on my own. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, so I had to I had to move around campus during my stay there um, because they were doing refurbishing and rearranging student accommodation as well. So I had several several different uh, rooms to stay in. Yeah, tell me, what did your first one look like? Well, the first one had an entrance area with uh, adjacent bathroom facilities, mm -hmm. restroom to the right, uh, shower to the left. Mm -hmm. Then you entered a living room of sorts where you had a kitchen niche, a little uh, kitchenette. You had uh, large wardrobes, mm -hmm. drawers, desks, and mm -hmm. a, a kitchen table, basically. Mm -hmm. And a large flat screen TV. A flat screen TV? One uh -huh. meter and six. That's larger than mine. But Sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you had a bedroom too? Yeah, that uh, was uh, separate? not quite separate, but uh, with a doorway of sorts. Uh -huh, okay. You came into a bedroom area with four bunk beds, All right. of which I, of course, uh, just occupied one, and another set of desks and uh, drawers, a window and another TV set. Another TV set? Yeah. A 106 as well? No, a little bit smaller because it wouldn't fit into the window niche otherwise. Uh-huh, okay. <clears throat> uh, and that you were just an assistant teacher. I got yes, that. Yes, I yeah. got. I, I, I'm. I'm it was not a full staff flat. Resident staff had even larger rooms, and uh, uh, and that's part of your pay in a way. It is. Yeah. Uh, it is. Oh my god. I mean, I'm. I'm thinking of uh, seriously. Where do you apply for these things? Well, um, you might reconsider that because there's also a downside, which is the working hours. You don't get to spend much time in that room. What are the working hours? Compared to German schools, for example, it's quite relaxed because you start, uh, the, the teaching starts at uh, 8.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. which, oh, is, okay. which is nice, yeah. Um, but then school ends at 4, mm -hmm. when you get a bit of free time while the, while the students still have to do their activities. Mm -hmm. Then there's supper time, free as well, but you need the time in order to get your supper during the opening, mm -hmm. opening time of the mm -hmm. canteen. And afterwards, there's prep time. Which prep needs to be time. prep time, which means uh, homework time, basically for the students living on campus, which had to be supervised. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And that uh, started at seven, and ended at nine, in, in the evening. In the evening. Okay. And then you still had to supervise the students while they um, had a little snack before going to bed, and you had to roam the corridors in order to ensure lights out and bedtime. When is lights out bedtime? I worked with year 10 and 11, mm -hmm. and they had to go to bed around 10, 15, mm -hmm. half 10. Okay. But I'm sure at least after that you can have friends over at, uh, at your place. Not and really. Have a beer having, and having people over, having visitors was a bit difficult because um, they either would have needed a CRB check. So a what? A criminal records bureau check <laughs> to mean? ensure they were not criminals and were safe to have on campus. You got one of those too? I had to get one of those too, yeah. Okay, so you you have all this space and, and the the great TV sets and you can't watch a football game no, with your not, friends not there? Not with friends, no. That's oh. a bit difficult. Okay, folks, I think I will go on working at Sarnet University after all. And, well, one advantage to that is we will go on doing rope casts for you. Um, but then so if you want to have some luxury, you can have one of the heated towel racks installed at home. Okay, um, it's easy to install. Okay, uh, let's just wrap up this rope cast and you tell me where to get heated towel racks. I, okay. I, I thought it was fascinating anyway. I love those kind of gadgets. Okay, but let's just say goodbye and uh, we won't talk about heated towel racks uh, next week or in a week or so, but I'm sure we have something very interesting for our next rope cast. So be sure to download that again. Bye bye. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Sarland University. 
featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. Thank you.